Welcome to something crunchy. Tyler is homies with Blake. Blake is the older bro of Blair. Blair is married to Tyler and is a slutty slut slut. Welcome to something crunchy. What the hell is crunchy? Welcome to something crunchy. Alright. Welcome to part one of our two sewed salute. <laughs> To animation. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm Cullen Blake. With me, as always, Blair and Tyler Dressel. How are we feeling tonight? Color me yoked, brother. That's <laughs> yes, great. <laughs> Full transparency. We recorded this New Year's Eve. I'm hammered. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> hammered. Tyler has suffered a back injury here. So he is all kinds of... <laughs> Doctor said I need a bacchiotomy. Yeah, yeah. He pinched a nerve, and now he's all on lewds and a variety of fun <laughs> I pills. I found those 1972 <laughs> yellow Loose, lewds. Loose and loody over here. It's going to be one of those sods. <laughs> <laughs> I've been loose for a week, baby. Let's go. <laughs> well, we've got to start with a quick story. So Rob Schneider, it's not like he came to town. He moved to town. Mm-hmm. Yes. He lives here in Scottsdale. We went to go see him. It uh, stand up live this week. He did he comes over the mic and introduces Frank Caliendo to come Frank. out and surprise yeah. everyone? Yeah. And, like, that was awesome. That was already like fun and exciting, Mister Impersonation. But this actually happened on the day that John Madden died, mm-hmm. giving us some Madden right there in front of us live when we weren't expecting to see no, him. That was crazy. That was really cool. Yeah. Two and one, like a fun little. It was. It was a bonus twofer. there. Such bonus. a cool surprise. We had the, our whole section was looking to us to see if we were laughing at some jokes before they would laugh. Well, we're loud people. We <laughs> take up some space. We had a little thing before the, everyone took stage. When we take our drinks, it's. Yep. It's loud. We had the left side of that fucking club warmed up before Frank <laughs> took the stage. Yeah, we were pre-show. We were pre-showing it. Yeah, crowd made, pre-show. Made some, made some friends. <laughs> Well, this has been long overdue and been sitting in our content queue for some time. It worked out the way it needed to, though, because this episode will be tied to a very exciting, very fitting interview next week. We have such a treat for you. It's unreal. Excited. Okay. Let's get this established right away. What I'm not interested in discussing animation-wise is anything classic Disney. We had our Dark Disney episode, which was excellent and covered nicely. Yes. I don't want your Animaniacs, Tailspin, any modern use of Disney characters or really animation designed for kids of any era. What I do want to get into, all-time faves, our collective Mount Rushmore some new era gems, and clearly your more adult-driven animated shows. Boy, I tell you what. (laughs) Hot damn it, Bobby. (laughs) I just love it so much. Gonna hear a couple of those tonight. Yeah. (laughs) Let's start with some trivia on the subject. Nice. Yes. We begin with the chub round. Near every question has multiple choice. Two chubs. For anyone who answers correctly without needing options, and the usual big healthy chub will be rewarded to the first to answer correctly when needing multiple choy. Oh, shit. All right. Had to start with this one. You'll find it very random until I give you a fun fact in the explanation. Let's do this. Name is your buzzer. <laughs> <laughs> Blair can never do that. No. I'd say if Blair had a chance of succeeding. No, because then I'm just like Blair, blah, blah, blah. And just like. But he's all pilled out. So like he yeah. he needs a. Uh, I need a handicap. He needs here. a handicap. And that helps you? I think that Fuck helps yeah. you. <laughs> Let's, try it. Helps Let's try it. Let's try it. We may ditch it. <laughs> I'm not making any promises here. <laughs> all right. What was Homer called in the Arabic version of The Simpsons? Omar Shamshun, Mahrui Bey, Muhammad Samwe, or Marmesh Mafu. I feel like the first one that you said, but that sounds too like Shamshun. Like, <laughs> it does, doesn't it? <laughs> Muhammad. Omar Shamshun. See, see yeah. Muhammad. It's like, You're I going like Muhammad Samwe. Yeah. Yeah. Now, what was the last one that you said? Marmesh Mafu. Yeah, I kind of like that one. I like that you're drawn to that. You're both wrong, oh. but Blair had a better guess, and you'll learn why in a second. Oh. So Homer did become Omar Shamshun. 
<laughs> you did? Okay. <laughs> you did. <laughs> wow. I just feel like it was just like too simple. Like there's no way. No, that's what he was. Okay. Marge was transformed into Mona. Lisa renamed Bessa. Bart went by Bader. It was Mr. Burns, who was Maharui Bay. Oh. And it was Krusty the Clown, who is Maharmish, a translation from Crunchy. <gasps> Ooh. Whoa. Whoa. Love. Fun fact. Yeah. Yes. All okay. Right. Let's take this seriously. Wow. Yeah. I got to like really get in the game here. Get I your head right. God. Yeah. Is it that deep? Are all no. These... Oh, no. Thank God. Only <laughs> the first one. <laughs> Only the first like, one because it was well, tied to crunch. Ludes, bro. I can't <laughs> go that deep, man. Ludes. <laughs> 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 Get too deep, Billy. <laughs> can't pull over anymore. <laughs> You'll prefer this. All right. In Family Guy, which famous rocker did Lois once sleep with? Steven Tyler from Aerosmith. Gene Simmons from Kiss, Lars from Metallica, or Iggy Pop from the Stooges? Gene Simmons, Blair. <laughs> Gene, Gene Simmons, Blair. Blair does Gene Simmons B. In the I B, agree. In the B. I agree. Gene Simmons. Okay. Gene Simmons. All right. She's a Kiss fan. You have the option to agree with <laughs> Gene Simmons, Blair from Kiss. I'll take a sip. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> you each get you a chub, and I'll take a chug. Okay. I love all of that. Chub me be. Chub. Son of a bitch. Love it. Okay. Nobody <clears> likes to drink somewhere. alone, bro. They're all drinking. <laughs> oh. <alone. laughs> well, then who's doing lewds with Tyler? <laughs> <laughs> Rules don't That's apply. You, Blair. <laughs> yeah, no. Which show is Mr. Poopy Butthole from? Rick and Morty, oh. The Venger Bros, Aqua Teen Hunger Force, or Space Ghost, Coast to Coast. Blair, Aqua Teen. Space Ghost. Um, he doesn't have to go with his own rules. She wants you to Tyler. <laughs> Tyler Space Ghost. Tyler, <laughs> Tyler Space. Tyler Space. Tyler Space. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it only applied to the first person. I like, thought you so already too. you answered, and then I was like, "Well, my guess is this. <laughs> Obviously, I don't have to say my name first. Well, I'm I the only throw... other person competing." Well, what if I threw out three other things, but I just have, I didn't know it was like you say one, but you just say your well, name. Your first. inflection told me that was your final <laughs> answer, Blair. <laughs> you can learn a lot by that inflection. You inflected. <laughs> I did. Yeah, the, there was intent. It was pretty final. As per golf rules, six point one <laughs> intent incurred. It so was final, Mister Poopy Butthole. Blair's on Aqua Teen. Yes. And you say Tyler Space. Space Ghost. <laughs> So many people are upset you don't know that's from Rick and Morty. Oh, ah, as soon as you said Rick and Morty, I'm like, that's definitely it. And then Rick and Morty came out after the kids were born. I haven't caught up on all the episodes yet. Well, then take a stab at this now. What is the name of Morty's dad from Rick and Morty? Jerry, Jason, John, or Joshua? Joshua. <laughs> you just like Josh? No, I don't. <laughs> no. I Tyler don't. Jerry. <laughs> Tyler Jerry. Blair. I mean, John. I mean, chub that man. Yeah. Oh, chub that man. I'll chub Jerry my baby up. is correct. Woo. Whoa. Jerry. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Which villain appeared in the first episode of Spider-Man in 1994? Dr. Octopus? Sandman? The Lizard? Green Goblin? Tyler Doc Ock. Blair, something with an octopus. <laughs> they both are going octopus. Oh. And they're both drinking. Uh, oh. this, ah. this isn't even the drinking part of the round, but we're just kind of making it that way. Well, because if, if you don't, if chub, no one earns a chub, then you're drinking. Is it Green Goblin? It is the lizard. Oh. Yeah. I thought it was Green Goblin. It's actually the lizard. Goblins later. Should have known the first video game you fought Lizard first and then a dog hawk. <laughs> Balls! <laughs> Thought it was a trick. Always go Lizard first. Which style of animation is emulated for most episodes of South Park? Stop action. Rotoscope animation. No, Shit. not even close. 
stop it. He could just yell that if I would have done that, I would be like, oh, if you would have done it, disqualified out of this game. You would have been disqualified. Get out. Thank get you out for of the ruining room. the game and possibly the evening. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for ruining the night and the holiday. <laughs> oh my god. Rotoscope animation, cutout animation, Blair cutout, computer animation, or claymation. Blair's right. Yes! Wow. They literally, like, have you seen the intro? So the pilot episode was produced using cutout animation, leading to all subsequent episodes being produced with computer animation that emulated the cutout technique. Uh, you didn't... But the cutouts were also shot in stop action. No. Mm. Yeah. Mm. 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 I don't remember that being one of the choices. Mm. 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 <laughs> Four choices here. <laughs> sure. We're both right. I'll give Blair the big old fat chub, though. You got it in the middle of the choices, but not before any options were provided. So it is one chub. One chub. Healthy. Making it two to one. Two, two. two. I hadn't two chubbed yet. Two to one. Hadn't chubbed yet. <laughs> Let me chub first. Hadn't even chubbed yet. <laughs> Which comedian co-created F is for Family and voices the main character? Tyler Bilber. Damn. That's how you two chub. Two, two thick chubbers. ones. I Get them up there. I felt wow. that two chubber like as God. soon as you yelled it out. Put them in your mouth and on the page. Man's I can feel it. In volumes me. and muscle relaxers and God knows what else. And he had that before <laughs> I could <even> finish. <laughs> and remember, the name is your buzzer. Ooh, that was nice. Two chub swing. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> what is the perverted old man's name in Family Guy? Norbert? Blair Quagmire. Nope. Oh. Albert. Herbert. The whistle. Or Bertrand. Tyler Herbert. Blair Herbert. <laughs> Tyler <laughs> gets the chub. Yeah. I don't know why. Chub I gets the square. I like how Bo just look at me as if like, anything <laughs> I just said matters. Yeah. <laughs> Blair Quagmires. <laughs> hey, you ever accidentally masturbate to young pictures of your mom? Who the fuck starts a conversation like that? I just sat down. <laughs> 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 I, I knew as soon as I said I was wrong I'm like fuck I hate saying answers like that in front of you too because it's like you know times it's where you it's like people are like oh that's fine you can say a wrong answer here it's not the same here. space no, not here. I look at you too and I'm fuck <laughs> so disappointed <laughs> yeah you, Blair? immediate Berated disappointment but on the <laughs> any more disappointed we have listeners that just come here for the berating of Blair <laughs> They're here for the fucking. I'm here for the fucking. They tune in just in case we do some extra hard fucking with you. <laughs> you know it's gonna be here. What inspired Beavis's laugh in Beavis and Butthead? A nerdy straight A student Mike Judge knew from school. An awkward frontman from an obscure rock band. An old stoner friend of Mike Judge. Or random teenagers in the mall. Blair, stoner friend. Tyler, random teenagers. You're both wrong. Fuck! Oh, man. Front man? Still wrong. Shit! Made up nerdy all of those friend. options. Beavis's laugh was inspired by a nerdy straight-A student Mike Judge knew from school. The captain of the Dallas Cowboys cheerleading team became a teacher at their school. The student would sit in the front of the class and laugh with a grunt while biting his lip at all of her jokes. <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious it's like Great. i'm gonna turn this right into a character no. here good trivia comes with a fun fact that's, that's <laughs> my awesome. favorite kind <laughs> what is the name of the motel located in springfield edge of sleep motel nobody in sleep easy motel step back in tyler sleep easy blair nobody in tyler's right yeah <laughs> Suck it, Blair. <laughs> <laughs> chub him oh up. Oh my god. Real good, Blair. I gotta chub him after that. Yeah. Yeah. Right in the old. Pretend like you like it this time. <laughs> <laughs> We're you married for God's sakes. That's only one though, right? It's only one. Which comedian does Cartman suggest should star in his movie concepts on the awesome O episode of South Park? Ben Stiller? Rob Schneider, Will Ferrell, 
or Adam Sandler? Tyler Rob Schneider. Blair Adam Sandler. Blair's right. She's right there. Ah! Blair gets the chub. Finally. Whoa. Get me going. I'll drink here. to that, Blair. <laughs> He'll drink it. Name Homer Simpson's enemy. Ned Flanders. Mr. Burns. Frank Grimes. Wayland Smithers. I mean, this is tough. Tyler Smithers? What? I hate that answer. I hate that answer, too. I, well, oh. well, that's got to be the lewd. That's the drugs talking. I was just about to say. That. <laughs> that's such a lewd. <laughs> it's just like a, he's all. Of all drugs. the things? All I mean, of these. I, I, I'm Burns, a South Park possibly, guy. I am not a Simpsons Let guy. me just break this down. It could be Flanders. He's always had a tiff. I mean, but it's his like next door neighbor. Is that's like enemy? I don't yeah. know. Strong word. Mm-hmm. Mr. Burns is like his boss, mm-hmm. and that's like enemy status. Also, sure. he's tough, mm-hmm. Mr. Burns. But I'm sure there was one episode where he was like, "You're gonna go with like Assistant Smithers." I'm going Smithers. He wants Smithers' job. You're both wrong. It's Frank Grimes. I'm like upset with you over it. <laughs> the community sips. Community sips for that. Nobody that's deserves just, like a full mm-hmm. job for that. Oh, for right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mr. South Park. What is Kyle's last name? Tyler Brofskonoski. Brof- Ooh, Blair Brofloski. <laughs> Come on, the loot. Like You split him. Son what? of a... She said it correctly, but she wouldn't have without what you said. Yeah. Incorrect. I would have so, gotten that. No. I tried I to know. say what Blair no. said, but it came out what I said. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> this is like, this is how you sound all loose. <laughs> this is Lucent how you sound not all loose. Yes, Rosenberger. Rosenberger. <laughs> You know what I'm trying to say, man. Garden hoser. He's that's like, that's why swear, I'm giving you a chub. <laughs> well, yeah, thanks for it. the charity. Yeah, you're each getting a chub. I love a good charity chub. You got a <laughs> charity chub. Blair, Blair's used to charity What's wrong chub. with Blair's that? Like, what's since what's since when are we yeah. frowning at charity <laughs> chubs? <laughs> <laughs> you above a charity chub you over there? Against the charity <laughs> chub. Get out of here. I think this is his first charity chub. He's a little sour. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my fault. Yeah, Blair's like, yeah. season five, you kidding? Yeah. I've been living off charity <laughs> chubs. Are you <laughs> <laughs> I got a whole account of charity <laughs> chubs. Let me just go back to my first I worked these knuckles to the bone. To not accept <laughs> charity chubs. I you, work for every chub I get. You open my bedside table drawer and it is nothing but charity chubs. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you dare look in there. Okay. <laughs> nice. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Which King of the Hill character was a veteran? Hank, Dale, Bill, or Boomhauer? Blair, Dale. Tyler Boomhauer. You're both wrong me drinking. Shit. It was Bill. 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 Remember he like even gave the haircut. Oh, that yeah. was like Come his job on. in the army. Come on. Oh. I'm upset. We're all upset. <laughs> <laughs> in Family Guy, what is Brian's mother's name? Buttercup? Biscuit? Bernice? Or Bell? I kind of want to say Blair Biscuit. <laughs> Tyler Bernice. One of you is right. Whoa! It's Blair. What? <laughs> biscuit is correct. It's biscuit? This is like why it was a question. I couldn't believe it. I How was did like, you not biscuit? choose Biscuit? I thought it was a trap. You share a name with Brian's mother. You said it, too many it, traps it, on him. I know. It does have, it reeks of It trap. reeks it of trap. It reeks That's of why trap. I fell straight into it. Just happen to be yeah. right. Yeah, when does Blair like trap into the right answer? <laughs> <laughs> She's always Trapping. like, fuck, fooled again. <laughs> All right, I'll suck it. Let's <laughs> count over there. Um, <laughs> seven, five, Tyler James. Ooh, biscuit in the lead. <laughs> <laughs> what is the name of Ned Flanders' store at the Springfield Mall? Tyler left hand. And in mm. shit. <laughs> lefty <laughs> supply. Lefty lefters. <laughs> lefty lefterson. Anything lefty. Oh, I can't like give you the Come on. It's... You have to give mm. options. Mr. Lefty. Captain Left Side. 
<laughs> the other side. He's so close. <laughs> ah, fuck. What is it? What is it? Bible blaster. <laughs> In diddly doodly. <laughs> Simply doodly. <laughs> the high diddly home art. Or the Leftorium. The Leftorium! <laughs> Give it to him. Give him his chub. I would never take that chub away from you after gonna, all of that work. Think you're going to rob him? Of his <laughs> I could never do chub that to I gave him like 12 other options. <laughs> and you know, Amazing work. That was like a welcome <laughs> chub. This is, this is how you don't get charity chubs around here. Yeah. True. Pound and pavement. <laughs> <laughs> You can drive on it. Is it perfect? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Is it perfect? No. <laughs> Which character was mistakenly animated the wrong color in his or her first appearance on The Simpsons? Dr. Hibbert, Marge Simpson, Krusty the Clown, or Waylon Smithers? The wrong color. Tyler, Dr. Hibbert. Flair, Krusty the Clown. <laughs> You're both wrong. I'm sorry. Oh, oh my God. You have no idea. Smithers. Smithers. Tyler. And now you don't go Smithers? <laughs> now you don't go Smithers. Get out of here with your Tyler now. Yeah. What are you trying what to Tyler you... about over there? Sips, sips to both of you. Sip. I'm out of sips. You are out of sips. Beer's gone. I got like two sips left of this one. Ooh. This makes so much more sense now by these answers. <laughs> <laughs> Thought I was better at this. Start getting some right answers. I'm out of there. beer. What inspired the voice of Boomhauer in King of the Hill? Making fun of one of the head executives at Fox? Imitating one of Mike Judge's neighbors growing up? Tyler, imitating Mike Judge's neighbor <laughs> growing up. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> an irate caller from Beavis and Butthead? Or an impersonation of Texans by one of the writers? Blair, Texans. Blair says Texans. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler fell into another trap. It was actually an irate caller watching Beavis in Butt. You know, it had to have been that. I mean, he called in thinking the show was called Porky's Butthole or something and <laughs> yelled at the staff in a very Boomhauer like voice. That's hilarious. He's my favorite. I know. He's my favorite. He's my favorite. <laughs> he was, hang on, let me get it on down. down, 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 down. He's he my down, down. favorite. Got a boom boom down here. Need a woo woo. No, me, Mike. Uh. <laughs> While on the subject of Beavis and Butthead, Mike Judge, and King of the Hill, most people want to know why the neighbor Tom Anderson, which is same yep. Neo. Yep. I was about to say the uh, why is that yeah. sounds so familiar. Yeah. Most people want to know why the neighbor Tom Anderson sounds exactly like Hank Hill and why the character didn't cross over. Just the voice. The voice was to be the inspiration behind Hank Hill's character, and Tom Anderson was to be Hank's father on the show. But Fox was unable to secure the rights to Anderson from MTV. Fun fact. Fuck. Wow. I didn't realize there was like such a connection there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, you hear him. Mean, like, you it's boys been whacking in my tool shed. <laughs> you yeah, boys yeah. whacking off in my tool shed. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. You two look kind of familiar. Ain't you them kids that have been whacking off in my tool shed? <laughs> 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 that that's Tom right there. That is not oh, Hank. That's just, Tom. That is Tom. This is so good. I could hear this all day long. Tom. <laughs> Bobby. <laughs> um. All right. Bonus for three chubs in the wind. Let's recognize an impressive world record here. Whoa. Okay. The most characters voiced by one artist in a TV cartoon series is 1,382 when it was verified on January 2nd, 2019. Oh, my God. This record belongs to who? No multiple choice. Tyler. Hank Azaria. Not a bad guess at all. Wow. Not correct either. Shit! <laughs> I mean... Blair? Have, Any stabs? You I could, have no You could take idea. some guesses. Um... From Simpsons, who am I thinking? From Simpsons, who are you thinking? Weatherman, um, or not Weatherman, news anchor, and I feel like he does like Harry Shearer. Yes. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> no. Good. No. Okay. I like it. You both went Simpsons with it. 
Is it Simpsons? It is not. Whoa. Whoa. Is it um, <sighs> Lois from Family Guy? No. No way. I love her, and she's done so much I like didn't even know that she was doing. Thousand Voices, That's, though? Like, oh, um, no. Trey Parker. Whoa, really? Uh, Why didn't we even I didn't think even think of South Park. They do new characters every week. Dudes over here couldn't even think of South Park. Son of a They bitch. literally do new characters every week. Trey Parker. And it's all just like... 1,382 as of two years ago. Wow. Whoa. I'm upset. Oh, he's so upset. He's upset. He's upset. Sorry. We're out of drinks. I'm sorry, Trey. Yeah. Matt, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I just the like whole I family over there, like, I should have known. We'll send over a fruit basket. <laughs> it was great with mustard. <laughs> Baked it myself. Let's uh, move on to the drinking round. Uh, we're going to need... Uh, a- <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> but we, in order to do that, we're going to need to freshen up the cups around here. So let's take a break. Hi, everybody. Thank you for listening to Something Crunchy, and we hope you're enjoying the episode. It now pays to crunch down every week because we're hooking you up with big discounts from big brands. Up to 35% off Invicta watches using code CRUNCHY and apparel from 8080, where in addition to 10% off using code CRUNCHY, every dollar you spend goes towards an entry in their dream car giveaway. Don't forget to join the Something Crunchy Facebook group for updates, polls, and the web's crunchiest memes. You can find us on Twitter at crunch underscore cast, and feel free to send any questions and track submissions to somethingcrunchy at gmail.com. Now let's get back to the show. And we're back. Having a good time. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Ludes and Nudes. <laughs> <laughs> Free nudes. Hit us up. Something crunchy at gmail.com. We are all freshened up here and let's move on to the drinking round called Familiar Voices. <laughs> oh my God. All right. So we it's already kind of been the drinking round and... This is going to get sloppy. Rumor in the green room was that you guys want to do... Uh, you want to continue with the chubs. And with the chugs. So yeah, well, I like like a good combo. We'll just do chubs, a continuance of, of combo then. Yes. That works. All right. Which famous Star Wars actor voiced the Joker in Batman, the animated series? Harrison Ford. Mark Hamill. Tyler Mark Hamill. Yeah. Tyler says Mark. Blair says yeah. <laughs> Say we give Tyler a chub and mm-hmm. Blair... Congratulations just, for agreeing with Tyler. <laughs> yeah. I just like it to give a hug. <laughs> you yeah. should also sip. You should also. So I'm I'm adding on to previous chubs. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Continue the length, please. <laughs> yeah. Bring our score to nine to five. Yeah. Wow. Mm. That's about right. Who voiced Jillian in <laughs> Family Guy? Cameron Diaz. Kristen Bell. Drew Barrymore or Mila Kunis? Jillian? Jillian. Tyler, Kristen Bell. It was Jillian. Why? <laughs> Brian's girlfriend? <clears throat> yeah, dated Brian. Good call. Okay, because Meg was Mila Kunis. So... Correct. Oh, Kristen Bell's a good girl. So I got to like do the same thing here. <laughs> I also thought it was Kristen Bell, but we're all wrong. What? what? It was Drew Barrymore. Oh. oh. You know what? Totally. Yeah. Who voices BoJack Horseman? Aaron Paul? Dietrich Bader? Blair, Dana Tosh. Tyler, Will Arnett. Blair, how could you be so wrong? And why aren't you chubbing Tyler? Oh, <laughs> my God. That's and, a, two and, and, for and, me. And that's because, two because like, he got it before Will Arnett was an option. Yeah. Two chub swings. Damn it. Two chubs. So right. One time. Why did I? To me. <laughs> I mean, one, you got it wrong. And two, he got it right and didn't even need the option. 
So what? It's like two plus. So I gotta like gargle his ball sack right now. <laughs> <laughs> I get two, and you have you to gargle two. my ball <laughs> and a quick gargle. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's fair. I mean, that's fine. I'm just like trying to get a grasp on the rules. House rules. <laughs> Who voiced Sonic the Hedgehog? No multiple choice as we've brought it up on the show at least twice. Tyler Frankie Muniz. Oh, wow. <laughs> Not a good guess. No way. <laughs> Taste funny. Yeah. <laughs> what do you it, it didn't feel right coming out of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't have been proud of that. Blair. Not that I have any better of an answer. Well, give me something. He w- Sonic? Sonic. Oh. I need some sort of something. That- your, your something is that we've talked about this at least twice already. Tyler Aaron Paul? No. Is no. It- no. It's not Jim Carrey because he was, the- <laughs> he was the- <laughs> super yep. fast, bitch. Come on, yo. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it would have killed that. That would have been so <laughs> hilarious. I would have watched it if he <laughs> was in it. <laughs> Come on, yo. <laughs> Well, now I feel like it is kind of like that age, though. Or is it younger? Devin Sawa? Ugh. No. I would have known that. It's not Blair Devin oh, Sawa. I would have known that. not Blair. I had Welcome to say for it. Sawa. I just like looking for another episode of Blair searching for Sawa. Rock'em Sawas. <laughs> uh, it's Jaleel White. It's Jaleel White. Jaleel White? Yeah. Wow. I was like... I thought it was like no, someone no. super young. It was Urkel who voiced Sonic the Hedgehog for the animated series when he was 16 years old, still oh. starring on Family Matters. He later reprised the role for the animated series Sonic Underground in 1999. Wow. Frankie Muniz, Devin Sawa, are you drinking? Did I see you drink? <laughs> Did I see drinking? <laughs> Get those New Year's sips. Drinking. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm. Sippy New Year's. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Sippy <dude. laughs> Who voiced Sally Brown on Peanuts as a surprising child voice actor? Fergie, Alyssa Milano, Anne Hathaway. <laughs> Anne Hathaway. <laughs> Did you tuck him? I totally He's tucked. Not tucked. I, I have. It's like <laughs> inserted inside of me. You can still hear it. I'm sorry. My phone is giving me a notification that you got a notification. <laughs> <laughs> That's the loudest thing I've ever heard. Thank you. <laughs> Blair, Alyssa Milano. Anne Hathaway or Gwen Stefani. Blair, start drinking. Tyler, <laughs> Gwen Stefani. Both wrong be drinking. Fuck. Blair Fergie. It was Blair Fergie. <laughs> still drink. <laughs> <laughs> Before she was the vocalist for the Black Eyed Peas, Stacy Fergie Ferguson was a child star who was also the voice of Sally Brown, Charlie Brown's kid sister, on three Peanuts animated TV specials produced in the 80s. What's up? Okay. Whoa. Got the voice. Fergalicious. Fergalicious. <laughs> Wasn't going to make a question out of this, but a, another fun fact in my research this week. Jessica Walter, who played Lucille Bluth on Arrested Development. Oh, mm-hmm. my God, yes. Was Fran Sinclair from Dinosaurs. Whoa. What? Dinosaurs premiered on ABC in 1991 and centered on a family of creepy-ass Chuck E. Cheese-style dinos. <laughs> so weird. Created Loved using it. puppetry and animation. <laughs> oh, so good, though. Puppetry. <laughs> Before she played Lucille Bluth, Jessica Walter voiced matriarch Fran Sinclair. Puppeteer Clash who was Elmo on Sesame Street, voiced that fat, annoying baby Sinclair. Um, But yeah. so Watched all of it. (laughs) I thought that was pretty cool, Jessica Walter. And now you could hear her as Mallory Archer on FX's animated series, Archer. I love Archer. It's all right. Do you, Blair? Do you really love Archer? You don't love Archer. I don't think you love Archer. You don't. I love Archer. I think you tolerate Archer. You've seen Archer. You don't love it. Yeah, this is the (laughs) first time I've ever heard you mention Archer. Fly. Who who is I the have voice? laughed hard. Here's trivia for you, Blair. Who's the voice of Archer? Um I'm trying to think of I think he played the dad in Save the Last Dance. H. John Benjamin. The Benjamin. greatest voice. Imperfect for cursive. Sure. My God, like, is he universe? Let's <laughs> 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 call answering the question. 
who voiced Brother Bear from the Berenstein Bears, Michael J. Fox, Michael Sarah, Michael C. Hall, or Michael Shannon? Blair. Uh-oh. Tyler, Michael, Michael C. J. Hall. Fox. Ooh, Blair goes Fox. He goes Hall. You're both wrong. Yeah! Damn it! It's Michael Sarah. Really? No way! I was like, yeah. no, he's just thrown in here. Nah. A year before playing George Michael Bluth on Arrested Development, <laughs> Michael Sarah voiced Brother Bear on the Berenstein Bears children's TV series. He would, would have like the perfect voice for a children's TV series. Yeah, I thought it was way earlier than that. He continued to do it the whole way through his filming of Arrested Development. That is hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Who voiced Mr. Wilson from Dennis the Menace? Al Franken, Kevin Nealon, Phil Hartman, or Daryl Hammond? Ooh, Daryl Hammond. SNL oh. alum. Yeah. I, I would know. I mean, Phil Hartman, I would know in two seconds. <sighs> Kevin Nealon, too? I don't think that I remember it being. Tyler Hartman. Tyler's going Phil Hartman. Blair, what do you think? Nealon, Hartman, Hammond, Franken? Hammond. You're going Hammond. He's going Hartman. Chub him up real nice. Thank you oh, very much. Man. In the same year he started his career on Saturday Night Live, Phil Hartman did voice work on the syndicated TV series Dennis the Menace. He played both Dennis's father, Henry Mitchell, and the next-door neighbor, Mr. Wilson. Hartman left Dennis the Menace after one season to pursue SNL full-time. Such a good voice for all that. Like, he'd be perfect. He did. Hartman did voice work on several cartoons. Name two more. Oh, gosh. Johnny Bravo? Mm. No, but fucking love that shit. shit. Movie or show? Cartoons. Cartoons. Animated show. Low hanging fruit right here. I feel like he did some stuff on The Simpsons. Like... Sure did. That's one. Oh yeah. yeah. Hello, Lionel Hutz and Troy McClure. Yeah, I was gonna say I definitely remember him being a... Troy McClure, of course. <laughs> Family Guy. No. 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 South Park. No. Shit. <laughs> Ducktales, Captain Planet, Into Planet Tears, Darkwing Duck, oh, and yeah. then also The Simpsons. Way off. Ducktales. Woo. <laughs> Why do we know those? <laughs> Take a sip for that. All right. And not for missing a question, the DuckTales. <laughs> <laughs> for this bullshit of a DuckTales. This seriously. one's for the tails. <laughs> Who famously voiced the Shredder from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? James Earl Jones, James Avery, James Kahn, or James Gandolfini? Tyler, James Kahn. He's going con. I want to go James Blair, James Earl Jones, just because like I fucking love. No way. They could get James, James Earl, Earl back then. Yeah. And no budget. I know. Blair, what are you thinking? <laughs> just wanted to say it. <laughs> no. You mean George? <laughs> you, mean George? <laughs> <laughs> you mean George? No, Blair. All right. Who else we have? We have B drinking. Yeah. Drinking. You might know him as Uncle Philip Banks on The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, but before he took the role on that wildly popular NBC sitcom, James Avery supplied the voice of Shredder on Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, wow. the animated series. Mr. Phil. Uncle, Uncle Phil? Phil. Uncle Phil. Uncle Phil. Uncle Phil. I should have known that. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Tyler over You there. should have. Uncle Phil. James Earl Jones. I wouldn't know. Mr. Pill. Uncle (laughs) Phil. Uncle Lutz. Who is the voice of Clifford, the big red dog? John Ritter, John Candy, John Cusack, or John Goodman? Blair, John Ritter. John Cusack. Blair's right. John Ritter. Ritter is correct. Before his untimely death in 2003, John Ritter voiced Clifford the Big Red Dog for the animated series of the same name on PBS Kids. Throughout the series' run, Ritter was nominated for four straight Daytime Emmy Awards for Outstanding Performer in an Animated Program between 01 and 04. Won some awards for that shit. It was good. He was good. It's always good. Who voiced the Iron Giant? Wesley Snipes? Ving Rames? Vin Diesel? Or Dwayne Johnson? Blair. Who's the Iron Giant? Wesley Snipes. 
Blair's going Snipes. Tyler's going, who the fuck it. is Diane Drunk? <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I would have said the same thing. Any other guesses there, Blair? No, I'm feeling snipey. You feeling snipey? Tyler, the rock, he has been in everything, but who's the Iron Giant? Uh, be drinking, both of you. Not Snipes. <laughs> At the start of his career in the 90s, Vin Diesel, whose real name we know is Mark Sinclair Vincent, yeah. <laughs> took a role as the main character in Brad Bird's directorial debut, The Iron Giant. That's what that was, Biscuits. Okay. This is just the best. Who were the pair of voices in the 90s that made up the very famous, the ambiguously gay duo? Oh my god, I loved the Ambiguous Gay duo. Were they Dana Carvey and Daryl Hammond? Stephen Colbert and Steve Carell? Fred Armisen and Jimmy Fallon? Or Rob Schneider and Robert Smeagol? Tyler, Dana Carvey. And Daryl Hammond. Yeah. Yeah. You're both saying that. Yeah. yeah. It was that really? time. It, it was that time, and you do have a reason for saying that. However, you're both wrong. Fuck! Stephen Colbert it, and Steve Carell? It was Stephen Colbert and Steve Carell. Wow. I was, it was in, not Jimmy Fallon. No. Although the animated short sketches were popularized on Saturday Night Live, the ambiguously gay duo made its debut on the short-lived Dana Carvey show on ABC in 1996. That's why you said Dana Carvey. Lending their voices to the crime-fighting duo Ace and Gary were none other <laughs> than Stephen Colbert and Steve Carell. I love that, Ace and Gary. Ace and Gary. They, like, started careers for about 12 of their comedians because of that bit. Yeah. TV Funhouse, it made that whole yeah, part, TV like, Funhouse. so great. In 2011, Colbert and Carell reteamed to star in the special live-action version of the ambiguously gay duo for a short film on SNL. John Hamm and Jimmy Fallon played Ace and Gary, while Colbert and Carell played the villains, Dr. Brainio and Big Head. That is hilarious. How have we not seen those? <laughs> I don't know. Which Jeff voiced Verminous Scum from Captain Planet? Jeff Daniels? Jeff Goldblum? Jeff Foxworthy? Or Jeffrey Tambor? Whoa. Tyler Goldblum. Whoa. I want to go Goldblum because, like, you'd think so. But Tambor, Foxworthy, I mean, <laughs> who's to say? I want to. I, I think I want to say Foxworthy. Blair's going Foxworthy. That's the weirdest of all the choices. I really want to go why? Tambor. That's so I don't weird. know why. I I'd switch one. to Tambor. I want to. I'm going to. I'm going to Tambor. She's still wrong. It is Goldblum. Yeah! <laughs> you make me fucking switch. <laughs> After appearing in 80s cult classics, The Fly and Earth Girls Are Easy, Jeff Goldblum took a job voicing the eco-villain Verminous Scum on Captain Planet in The Planet of Tears. Goldblum only appeared on five episodes of Captain Planet before his career started to take off with roles in big blockbusters like Jurassic Park and Independence Day. Always count on Goldblum. <laughs> Come Blair. on. Always bet on gold blue. Oh, why would I bet on any other? Always bet on gold. Who is the voice of Winston Zeddemore from the real Ghostbusters? Ernie Hudson, Matt Dillon, Samuel L. Jackson, or Arsenio Hall? Tyler Where? Arsenio Hall. Hall. Y'all weren't fooled for shit. Yeah. Woo! You gotta take some big chugs for that. We gotcha. We got it. We got it. Finish it. I can feel that one. Feel it in my bones. Two big ones. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> I can taste it. I can taste it. <laughs> <laughs> Two years after the release of Ghostbusters, ABC aired a cartoon version of the hit movie. The real Ghostbusters featured the same characters from its live action counterpart, but with different voice actors in the roles. Before he landed, his own late night talk show, Arsenio Hall, played the role of Ghostbuster Winston Zeddemore. Actor Ernie Hudson, who played Winston in both of the Ghostbusters movies and its video game, auditioned for the animated TV series, but lost out to Arsenio. Can you imagine? Like, like I'm the actual like, person. Yeah, like, I'm the guy. I am the guy. In like, both movies and the video game. What do you game? mean I didn't get like, my part? This like, is a don't... fucking layup. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, that is. I, I am was Winston. So pissed. But I get it. Arsenio Hall. Y'all have done very well. I'm very proud of you. All right, bonus round, no multiple choice, but take as many guesses as you like and drink while you do. Oh, gosh. 
Who is the voice of Luann Platter on King of the Hill? Luann. 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 This is like easy pickings. Oh, come on. It's definitely someone we know. Oh, sure is. Don't tell me. I'm Please tell me. Uh, don't tell me. It's Luan. uh Uncle Hank. Yeah, uh, it's um Juliet Lewis. <gasps> no. Oh, no. Shit. Good guess though. Not a bad guess. bitch. Man, I got like excited. I don't know why. 110 pounds. Yeah. In your bra. <laughs> what is her name? Oh, you're thinking Jennifer Tilly. Jennifer Tilly. It's not. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I got. Brittany Murphy was oh, the voice of Luann. Luann! On King of the Pill. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong character. <laughs> all right. Who replaced John Goodman as the voice of the yellow M&M? Uh, um, Craig Ferguson? <laughs> what are you... Talking about right now. Did he just say Craig Ferguson? Sure did. I was gonna go more like Eric Stone Street. Oh Blair. No. Oh Blair. That's even worse. What do you mean? (laughs) Craig Ferguson. Santa. Yeah, those are both terrible guys. Really? I thought it'd be Uh, fun. Sam Elliott. Actor J.K. Simmons. Oh has made a huge my name God. for himself on both big and small screens, but he has also done some commercial work as the voice of the yellow M&M. Thank not my know. tempo. Yellow peanut, not your tempo. <laughs> All right, so now that you are sufficiently hammered, <laughs> and I mean you two are hammered. <laughs> <laughs> Three uh, sheets, like, baby. Wow, I see you hammered at least once a week, and this is good Next and level ha- toasted. <laughs> and we are pre-gaming for a New Year's party. <laughs> That's about to happen. Make it, it. it is... Like not even New Tune Year's Eve Tune into the yet. Patreon when we got live <laughs> feed, baby. It's going down tonight. Yeah, I'm a little, a little worried about the beef. <laughs> <laughs> Let's discuss some hypotheticals and get into some personal shit. Okay. All right. I want to know which animated TV series would you want to star in as a character? Like if you could just hop on board any animated series right now so easy oh what's that that's like currently out any of them x-men x-men yeah that's a good answer that was my favorite growing up that's cool like i couldn't get enough of it the original animation saturday morning 30 minute long cartoon x-men that was my shit turned me into anything you want yep that's me what do you think blair like what's your favorite style of like animation where do you see yourself fitting in I don't know. I'd love to see me as a Simpsons character. I would love to see you as a Simpsons character. I would love that. I think so as well. I feel like that's where we would fit. Me too. Those are good. All right. So which network would you want to be on if given a choice? Are you like a late night cartoon network? Definitely. A weekend Nickelodeon? Some primetime main station? If we can X-Men on HBO? (laughs) Fucking hell. Yeah. Yeah. I think we're more of like a an 11 p.m. on Comedy Central. Yeah, for a late night Comedy Central is definitely it. what I was thinking. Okay. Most impactful shows from the inception of Nickelodeon cartoon era. I mean, what are we thinking for that? Blair was hooked like smack on some of these. This is like the Blair yeah, segment of the show. Yeah, this is kind of hard to choose, we're, really. We get straight into some Blairmation. I mean, I could break this Nickelodeon into, classics. Yeah, I could break this into genres. My favorite was Doug. I, I was mean, thinking Doug, and I would I think, love to be a character on Doug as well. That's yeah. like the only other one. Join I'm the thinking. Beats. Yeah, I'd love to go. <laughs> beats. We could all agree some fucking Blair beats. Mustard. <laughs> Blair Mustard. There's Patty Mayonnaise and Blair Mustard. <laughs> That'd be besties of Patty for sure. Some Johnny Bravo. You brought it up earlier. Yeah. Obviously. yeah, you'd be a Bravo kind of guy. Rin and Stimpy was weird but entertaining. And Daria was kind of underrated. Hated Daria. <laughs> I didn't loved Ren and Stimpy. You had to be in the right mood for Daria. Like I had to like feel Daria. You had Daria. to be in the right mood for Ren and Stimpy. Ren and Stimpy where I'd be like so excited. And every time I was watching, I was like, what the fuck am I watching right now? And I just like would have no idea what's happening. Which is also why I loved it. But Doug was pretty impactful. <laughs> All right. All time animated classics. Let's build our Mount Rushmore. I know it won't make a Rushmore, but before we even mention one, it deserves to be noted that none of the shows on our Mount Rushmore would exist without the Flintstones. 
that was the OG, oh. the first primetime animated series with yeah. any adult humor and deserves its recognition. Agreed. Yeah. If it were just straight up to me, I'd probably have to say Simpsons, Family Guy, King of the Hill, and Beavis and Butthead. I just love that. Is this judge. like not counting movies or no, anything like that? No, just the like cartoon. Like animated Toy Story or anything no, like that? No, Blair, okay. God. I'm making oh, sure God. that we're just like not oh, going Blair. there. I'm just like making sure. I get how we're eventually going to have to swap that last one out for South Park, but there's just much to be disputed here. South uh, Park needs to be up there and The Simpsons needs to be up there. Family Guy needs to be up there. Big Mouth is... I would fight on for its Big way. Mouth. Big Mouth is on its way. But like... Is it there? These are ones that have been going so hard for like... Simpsons has been going, yeah. A lot, people would say, a lot of Good people would say... A lot of people would push for Rick and Morty. No. For sure. Anything like Warner Brothers... Ugh, Bugs Bunny probably needs oh, to be Looney up there. Tunes. Looney, Looney Tunes. Looney Tunes. Any, if any of those Stones like, is up there, Looney Tunes kind of. Hanna Barbera's got to be up there somewhere. Those are all solid honorable mensch. I think it's Simpsons, Family Guy, King of the Hill, and South Park. You are also partial I, to King of the Hill. We are all partial to King of the Hill. The Laugh Olympics, like that was the greatest shit of all time. That was. I hope everybody agrees a, with us. Okay, there. side of beef here. Side of beef. <laughs> The Laugh Olympics, where they combined all of the previous cartoon universes. There was like Grape Ape, and there was the Captain Caveman, and like all the best from Warner Brothers and the shit pre 1980 got together and competed in a cartoon Olympics. And that shit birthed the metaverse of like. All the new shit, like the Marvel comics with all their like Avengers, the, the uh, Avengers and and the yes, Avengers. where they all were in one movie together. That's Avengers. The Avengers, <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> fucking Avengers. The birth of the verse. The birth of um, like the metaverse. <laughs> like they all come together. There's different characters from different worlds. See, they need a Laugh Olympics, but for like non comic kind of, like for the Dugs and for the like <laughs> all of Good those call. type shows. And the Rugrats grown up. They yeah. Have that. They, they have, have that. that? They have that? Half deal? <laughs> yes, they have you show me a show that has Doug yeah. and Rugrats. Tommy Pickles and, and Doug hanging out together, betting on ponies. Didn't happen. They don't have that. It didn't happen. They don't have that. Yeah, we want that. What events are we? It's talking? like a decathlon, but they all compete against each other. So it's and like funny. Yeah, it's kind of like uh, Mario Kart, where they're all together racing each other, but all the different worlds are doing the long jump and the high jump. Like y'all never saw that shit, the Laugh Olympics. No, no, saw the Pain oh, Olympics. Saw the Pain Olympics. Blake made sure it's saw the Pain Olympics. <laughs> 1987 <laughs> Laugh Olympics. Check it out. It's a cartoon. It's awesome. BME Pain Olympics. <laughs> never check it out. Ever, <laughs> ever, ever, never ever, recommend ever, that ever, to ever. anyone ever. Fuck. <laughs> We talk about those pretty often. <laughs> and everyone knows why they're awesome. Let's get into some of the newer ones that are either on their way up or lesser talked about. Show them some love. Obviously, yeah. first one, Big Mouth. Big Mouth. Think of Nick Kroll and company. That was so good. And they have funny. so many good guest stars. I know so many Pamela funny Adlon's coming references. on. Oh, my the, God. The whole concept of like the hormone monster and just like emotional beings at that time. Like, oh, my God. I'm obsessed fucking awesome uh f is for family bill burr yes love it and michael price right. yes. simpsons writer um bojack horseman is pretty good yes and so you guys like archer brought that up yes. loved it. all right don't love it but I like mean, it a lot he likes it <laughs> sure. a lot bob's burgers and american dad I don't, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not a big fan of american dad bob's burgers is okay pretty good close enough that was pretty good on hbo max um, Duncanville that had Amy Poehler and Ty Burrell that was pretty good I love them every once in a while you see something decent on cake uh, Brickleberry is pretty good Tosh, oh. Tosh yeah that show. was funny that's pretty funny that's what I was thinking da, that's what she was thinking <laughs> Boondogs it's pretty good I'm surprised I don't like one of them what is it with Kate Seagal and the uh, 
like the one eye and Futurama. Then, yes. Futurama's okay. It's like all right. The parts that are good are really good. Overall, it's just all right. No, Big Mouth like takes it where I want it to go. Like they they just hit it right for me. Blair likes a big mouth. <laughs> I can't believe <laughs> Look at you. I'm handle her girth. <laughs> I'm disappearing in my seat right now. Let's move on to our track of the week. Out of Berlin, this is State Space with Ouroboros. <laughs> Quality track, and you know I'm always a sucker for that West Coast 90s funk rock vibe. Yes. Always. Banging. This song was basically written in a day. They got an opportunity to record one song in some cool recording studio and wanted to record one of their songs they already had. One of them suggested they write a brand new song together, and they recorded it in just a few days in the studio. Great stuff. Thank you, Vova. And you can check out more tracks by State Space on the tube and wherever you stream your tunes. Keep sending those track submissions to somethingcrunchy at gmail.com. The country the better, of course. New Dream Car giveaway over at 8080. In addition to the 15% off you get for using code CRUNCHY, they're offering double the entries right now, so every dollar you spend is worth not one, but two entries you do not want to miss out. 
nor do you want to forget to check out CentralCrunchy.com, where you'll find every episode, our links for social media, and the Almighty Crunch Store, where you'll find all kinds of crunchy gear showing that you are a proud citizen of Crunch Nation. I'm looking at the score sheet over there, and I see that Tyler won this game 12 to 5. Is that right? That um, Papa Disc took this one home tonight? <laughs> <laughs> Papa Ludes. Papa Ludes. I even pa- had to put a full, like, Tyler wins. Whoa. Like, Boof and Ludes. Papa the Disc. W. God, he's all fucking New Year's Eve schnooker over know, here. Oh, that happened. Takes oh. down the double round animation drinking game 12 to 5. <laughs> Hammer dog shit Holy over here. Shit. <laughs> Hammer dog shit. Now you get to start partying for some New Year's Eve. <laughs> Let's go to a party, y'all. <laughs> Bring in the New Year. Be dragging Tyler home. <laughs> then there's the Something Crunchy Facebook group. That shit is growing fast, you guys. It is out of control yes. in the best of ways. And it Love remains it. the most fun you can have with your pants on. <laughs> this has been another episode of Something Crunchy. And as always, don't ever forget to live your crunchiest life and be crunchy to one another. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, follow, and all that crunchy good shit. Thank you for listening. This episode is dedicated to Betty White, John Madden, and Alex Johnson.